and today we got something special. Now, um, I've never had the, um, the the pies they used to come out with years ago. <laughs> I think I'll even show that. Just give me a second. Um, um, yeah, this whole thing about the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, p uh, basically pies, uh, cream pies. Uh, so we'll just uh, jump over to here for a second. Theme by Attic Scene. Hope you don't mind if I borrow your music, mate. You do, you do really good music. I like your stuff. All right, let's continue. Basically, they were like these little pudding type things wrapped up in bread and stuff like that. Now, of course, you people know me. <laughs> I've never actually tasted like these pudding things or anything like that. But it said that the um, thing was actually like vanilla pudding. So I thought, well, I don't have any vanilla pudding or uh, custard or whatever. So what I've done here is made... This, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sandwich, uh, ice cream sandwich. Yep, that's right, people. This is the this is vanilla ice cream tucked tuck, tuck, tuck between two slices of bread. And yes, I know, I know. Being the greenish colour that it is, it looks like it like, looks like the bread has actually gone off or gone mouldy, but no, it hasn't. It's just the uh, dye. But I've done a I've uh, done a new factor as well. Because in the, uh, I believe it said in the pies, they had the, uh, like I said, vanilla or coconut flavour or banana flavour in some of them, different different flavours. But most of the one they had was vanilla. So I put vanilla ice cream inside. But I did a little bit of a, I did, I did a little bit more of a change to this, people. Not only did I put food colouring on the thing to make it look green, I also added a nice little flavour touch, which was um, 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 peppermint. Yeah, a flavor, a bit of, a little bit of, a bit of a drop of a peppermint uh, flavoring on the on the top of the green as well, just to give it that extra boof um, and give it that more flavor touch. So while the sandwich doesn't look that appetizing, I'm I'm willing to give it a shot for you people, so I, you don't have to eat this. <laughs> so this is basically my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles homemade uh, ice cream sandwich. So, uh, let's get into this little review. I think it's all going to come apart on me, too. So, we'll see how we go. Oh, yeah, it's starting to come apart on me. Whoa. This is going to be a one weird peak. On, oh. Mm. 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 That right there, people, 
is one hell of a ride <laughs> for, for making a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sandwich. There we go. Wowza. Um, like I said, the, adding the peppermint flavour puts a kick in it. <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. But. But in some weird way, it helps complement the actual ice cream. So, but the vanilla flavour. I like the um, peppermint flavour does not overpower the uh, vanilla flavour. So, that is definitely an ooh mama factor. So, if anyone uh, <laughs> makes any more uh, of the, uh, or get, get some of the pudding pies uh, made for them, or uh, makes their own variant of the uh, turtle pies, I suggest, I suggest throwing lime flavour or lime or, or um, peppermint flavour in the green uh, mix the, and then then also then doing it that way. Because that's what, cause that's what the, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle um, sandwich he was based on was these turtle pies. But again, like I said, this ice cream sandwich that's based on the turtle pies, absolutely excellent. I can't describe it much more. Although, I think the thing that needs to be done with this is to, um, so that the peppermint doesn't really hit you so much. I think it may be like, maybe a, a teaspoon or a, um, like, like a tablespoon. No, no, definitely a teaspoon. A teaspoon of, um... Yeah, you know, the peppermint flavour uh, sprinkled on top. Oh, oh, uh, once you've coloured the bread, put the, um, I said a bit of a hint of the uh, peppermint flavour on top. Then once you've done that, um, again, do the same thing on, like I said, do, do one side only of the peppermint thing so it doesn't come overpowering. Because um, uh, mine was slightly overpowering because I did it on both sides of the slices of bread when I coloured both sides. So I'm thinking. Um, next time, just thinking for myself, uh, the peppermint flavour one side, like the top side or the underside, to blend with the ice cream. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll probably put, probably put it on the underside, flip them over, uh, let them dry overnight, I think, once once they've sort of dried overnight, then flip them, uh, let them flip, uh, then put the ice cream in the middle of the sandwich, then flip them back over, uh, stick it in the microwave for one, what, what, for one minute, or like a half a minute, and then it's ready to eat. And, uh, <laughs> may not be able to eat the crusts, but uh, that was very much enjoyable. I don't know if it actually would taste like the uh, like the uh, pudding pies, but I definitely know this ice cream pie is still bodacious, dudes! So, please, uh, thank you people for check, uh, watching this video, and please like and subscribe, and if there's any other food reviews you want me to review, let me know, and I'll try and actually get around to reviewing some more... Uh, food for you if you guys want me to do some more food reviews or leave a comment below and let me know what you guys would like to see on my channel and we will see you know if I give some of the actual ideas you guys send me or let me know in the notifications in the comments below all right then catch us later people bye